Welcome to part two of my discussion on combiners in the Transformers franchise. Part one focused on the original run of the Generation 1 series. Part two will cover everything beyond that point prior to Combiner Wars. Generation 1 was followed up with the aptly named Generation 2. This brightly colored toy line featured many returning combiners. First among them was a recolored Devastator, available in both a yellow and orange version. He was shortly followed by a new Superion and Bruticus. New versions of Metasaur and Defensor were planned for release, but were ultimately canceled. An original combiner duo appeared in the form of Dreadwing, not to be confused with Generation 1 Dreadwing, and Smokescreen, who could combine their vehicle modes to form a more powerful aircraft. These figures were set to be recolored as new forms for Megatron and Starscream, but were canceled, like so much of that toy line. Generation 2 marked what was almost the end of the Transformers franchise due to poor sales and a lack of supporting fiction. It took a radical change in form to bring Transformers back from the brink, and that change was... Beast Wars, while amazing, and if you don't agree, fight me, only contained two combiners, and they were the Maximal, Magnaboss, and the Predacon, Tripredicus. The Japanese Beast Wars II recolored these two as new characters, Magnaboss, retroactively known as Magnaboss II, and Triple Dacus. Generation 2 Dreadwing and Smokescreen were redecoed as the Predacon, Starscream, and BB. The Gestalt Piranacon was redecoed as God Neptune. After the Beast Era had ended, we were brought Transformers Robots in Disguise, or Car Robots, in Japan. This new line brought us another Bruticus recolor in the form of Ruination, and another Dreadwing and Smokescreen recolor with Dreadwind and Smokejumper. We were also given several brand new combiners such as the Train Combiner Rail Racer, the Construction Vehicle Based Landfill, and the massive Omega Prime, a combination of Optimus Prime and Ultra Magnus. Yet another series reboot, Transformers Armada, introduced the concept of Minicons, and by extension, Minicon Combiners. The Street Action Minicons could combine into Perceptor. Then there were the three legendary weapons, the Star Saber, Skyboom Shield, and Requiem Blaster, each comprised of three Minicons. This series' Optimus Prime could combine with Jetfire to become Jet Optimus, or with Overload, with or without Jetfire, to form Optimus Prime Mega Weapon. Megatron, and by extension Galvatron, could merge with Tidal Wave for an enhanced weapon mode. Lastly, the enigmatic Sideways had two Minicons that could each become Sideways's head or combine into a larger robot who's only named in Japan as Mirror. The first Transformers Universe line was conceived as a commemoration of the franchise and was made up entirely of redecos of existing toys. So from this point, I won't be covering every single redeco of a combiner unless it's a new character. Otherwise, this video would be much, much longer. All of the Operation Combination MicroMaster combiners were redecoed into different characters for this line. We were treated to MicroMaster versions of Defensor, Devastator, Rail Racer, and Superion. We also got a different Devastator that was a redeco of Robots in Disguise Landfill. There was a proposed redeco of Piranacon called Piranha King, but it was canceled and later released as just a recolored Piranacon through the Transformers Collectors Club. The sequel to Armada was Transformers Energon, and it brought combination to a whole new level. In fact, every single Autobot of deluxe size or larger could combine, and even some of the Decepticons. Every deluxe Autobot could become the top or bottom half of a two-robot combiner, as could each Voyager Autobot. You could technically combine a deluxe bot with a Voyager, but the result ends up looking a bit silly. The resulting combiner's name would be the word Power Links and the name of whichever Transformer formed the top. Energon also saw the return of Scramble City style combiners in Superion Maximus, Constructicon Maximus, and Bruticus Maximus. Optimus Prime could merge with Wing Saber in two configurations, Flight Mode and Fight Mode. He could alternatively combine with Omega Supreme to become Optimus Supreme. The Minicon Combiner Perceptor received a bit of a makeover, and a new weapon, the Energon Saber, was comprised of three Minicons like the legendary weapons before it. An odd addition to the Energon line, new versions of Grimlock and Swoop appeared, 
and could combine into Mega Dinobot. The short-lived Robot Master series in Japan had yet another Dreadwing and Smokescreen Raid Echo, a la Gigant Bomb and Smoke Sniper. In Transformer Cybertron, Optimus Prime could combine with Leo Breaker for a Savage Claw Mode, or with Wing Saber, once again, to take on Sonic Wing Mode. Megatron or Galvatron could combine with Nemesis Breaker for his own Dark Claw Mode. Two new Minicon Super Weapons were produced, the Chaos Saber and the Umbral Blaster. And Perceptor was still kicking around. In Transformers Classics, Constructicon Maximus became a new form for Devastator. 2008's Transformers Animated had twin Autobots, Jetfire and Jetstorm, who combined vertically into Safeguard. The second Transformers Universe toy line recolored the remaining two Energon Maximuses as G1 Superion and Bruticus, though Bruticus Maximus maintained his Energon name. It's worth noting that these two toys were moved to the Revenge of the Fallen toy line in the United States. Speaking of Revenge of the Fallen, the second movie brought us a radically different take on Devastator, as well as another Optimus and Jetfire combiner, Jet Power Optimus Prime. The twins, Skids and Mudflap, my favorite characters, could also combine into an ice cream truck mode. In 2009, the Transformers Collector Club unveiled Nexus Prime, member of the original 13 Primes, and retconned him as the very first combiner in most fictional universes. Transformers Generations brought us the Fall of Cybertron version of Bruticus, as well as his retool, the Wreckers combiner, Ruination. We were also treated to a brand new Minicon combiner named Centuratron. The Fantastic Transformers Prime series only contained one combiner, unfortunately, and that was the Predacon Abominus. Its Japanese-only sequel, Transformers Go, had a strong emphasis on combiners, however. It featured two triple combination teams in which each team can form a three-robot combiner in one of three different combinations, with the resulting name being the word Go against the name of the top Transformer in the combination. The characters Kenzen and Geki Somaru can also combine with Optimus X-Prime, an upgraded Optimus Prime, to form either Dai Kenzen or Dai Gekisau. Prime's American sequel, Robots in the Skies, not that one, brought back the Powerlink style of combination of Transformers Energon with Crash Combiners, though these bots could not switch top and bottom positions. The known Crash Combiners are Prime Strong, B-Side, Sidelock, Skyhammer, Shocknado, Dragbreak, Heatmark, Primelock, and Saberclaw. The line also had several large team combiners, Ultra B, Menasaur, and Galvatronus. And now, the last series we're looking at in this video, Transformers The Last Night. <laughs> hey, hey, don't kill the messenger, all right? The Last Night brought us Infernicus, a combination of five or six Infernicons, depending on the medium. More impressively, though, the movie introduced Dragonstorm, which was either made from two Transformers as per the toy, or from all 12 of the Guardian Knights as seen in the movie. Well, that was a much longer list than part one. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. The third and final part of this discussion will pick up from the introduction of Combiner Wars, so I'm really looking forward to making it. So far, this has been a much larger project than I anticipated, but an enjoyable one nonetheless. Feel free to provide some input in the comments section, as I'm always looking for feedback. And with that lengthy lesson now over, I will see you next time.